What is the secret to flavor-packed, perfectly tender lamb kebabs? It's in the marinade plus a little bit of grilling technique. But the thing about secrets is once you share them, they are no longer secrets. I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm comfy with that. I'm Susie with TheMediterraneanDish.com, your number one resource for Mediterranean cooking. If you're new here, subscribe and follow this channel for more delicious videos every single week. Now let's get to it. We're about to tackle lamb kebabs. It is something I grew up with and absolutely love. What cut of lamb do you need for lamb kebabs? I am using a boneless leg of lamb, which is pretty readily available and not super expensive. So I'm working with my leg of lamb. I have about a pound and a half right here, and I'm going to try to cut it into cubes, right? Because that's what you need for kebabs. There's a little bit of fat. We don't want to trim all the fat off the lamb because it will help with flavor. A good pinch of kosher salt and a good pinch of black pepper. And we're gonna set it aside for just a second. Growing up, my mom actually marinated a lot of her meats in this onion-based marinade, and it was always delicious. This is so much easier to do in your food processor if you have one, rather than having to grate your onions. That's never a fun task, so just put the onions in there, and then next we have the garlic. See, it peels right off. We'll do five to six garlic cloves. It's okay if you lose count when it comes to garlic. Never enough garlic. Next, allspice. I need a good teaspoon of that right in here. By the way, if you don't have these spices, you can find them on the MediterraneanDish.com. Just hit the shop tab when you get there. Half a teaspoon and same with the cardamom. And then we've got some fresh parsley. I'm just gonna put both the stem and the leaves in here. And then we're gonna do a third a cup extra virgin olive oil. Goes right in here. Okay, and then zest and juice of one lemon. We'll add it in after we blend everything, but you need to zest your lemon before you cut it. Life is zesty like that, you know? Then you can cut. One big, large lemon. Catch the seeds. You don't want the seeds in your marinade. They are very bitter. <laughs> Ready for it? Okay. Watch the magic. This is a super thick situation, but it will cover your lamb with so much flavor and help tenderize it. It's gonna be amazing. And it's a very oniony situation and it smells so good. Remember that zest. Mix this party real well. Make sure all of the lamb is well coated in the onion marinade. And if I were you, what I would do next is cover this baby up, put it in the fridge for a couple of hours, allow the marinade to do its magic. The hard part is waiting, really. <laughs> All right, good things took place for the past couple of hours. The lamb looks beautifully marinated. Now all we have to do is skewer our lamb. I had these soaking, obviously, because they're wood skewers. And then we're gonna throw them on the grill on high heat for about um, anywhere from seven to 10 minutes, really depending on how well done you like your lamb and allow a little bit of room between each piece. That way they kind of cook well, like they cook evenly that way. Give them a little tiny bit of room to breathe. You see that? Lamb skewers are about to hit the grill over high heat. So I'm gonna bring these outside, but before I do that, one last tip, you guys. Because our marinade has this thick texture to it, Remember to just shake the skewer a little bit before you put it on the grill. That way, the extra or the excess onions will just kind of, you know, fall off. Okay, these babies are about to hit the grill over high heat, about seven to 10 minutes, depending on how well you like your lamb cooked. The 
Thank you, these look amazing. Okay, you guys, serving the lamb kebabs is my responsibility since he grilled them, right? This is my Mediterranean tomato salad. If you need the recipe for Mediterranean tomato salad, definitely check it out right here. A little bit of tangy sumac. I've got tomatoes, I've got some fresh herbs here. A little tiny bit of lemon juice. Not a tiny bit, a good bit. All right, and some good extra virgin olive oil. And a little bit of good homemade hummus. Recipe is also right here, so check that one out. Grab our Mediterranean tomato salad. A gorgeous, I can't wait for this dinner. Lamb kebab party is about to go down, you guys. If you need the recipe for hummus, Mediterranean salad, anything else, obviously check those out right here. For the lamb kebab recipe, head over to the MediterraneanDish.com. I will see you later. Ciao.